Now I wanted to start this video off with some positivity, bring some light into everyone's life. However, I can't really think of anything. I mean, it was warm outside today. Th that's a plus, you know, the sun was out. That's cool, am I right guys, am I right? Now car takeovers have always been a very fascinating thing to me, even at a young age. I used to be obsessed with cars playing Midnight Club and Need for Speed Most Wanted. However, car culture has turned into this gigantic cesspool of who can just get the most amount of clout in the shortest amount of time possible. I feel like every takeover that happens nowadays, especially because I live near a major city, cough cough, it just turns into a gigantic mob that no one can control, even even the fucking police. Now I for one don't really care about destruction of property as long as it's not my property I could give less of a fuck. There's a car meet that happens every weekend that is very close to me and that is one of the most respectful groups of people that I've ever met in my life. Obviously yeah they do get pulled over if they're being an idiot however the cops are just kind of there and they just let everything happen. They will let people rev their engines, they will let people kind of speed a little bit as long as they're not going like a fucking 100 miles per hour and it's a pretty big event. Every time I get off work there's at least least minimum like 200 people it's a pretty big fucking event and the police obviously like this is a big community event they let it happen it's very nice it's very cool there's some cool cars and it's also a mix of cars there's some big ass redneck trucks there's some big old fucking fat guys with their corvette c5s and there's ricers there's hondas that are 30 years old that sound like they're modern day corvettes until you turn around and they're going 20 miles per hour it's really the greatest thing i've ever seen in my life obviously i have a very big love for cars so stuff like this video that I'm about to show you really fucking pisses me off because I feel like car culture has just gotten a really bad rep in the media and it's because people just can't control themselves. This did happen a couple days ago so I'm a little late to the news. If you guys haven't heard, recently after a car takeover in AutoZone got absolutely demolished. I have so many mixed feelings about this entire situation however I'm going to show you guys little bits and pieces of the video so you guys can kind of get what I'm talking about here. Bums is broken. Oh wow. This poor gate stood zero chance at defending this fucking auto zone. There's three things that I am most scared of in my life. Federal prison, talking to women, and a group of teenagers going into a store. I gotta give props to whoever made that gate though because somehow it is still standing, it is still intact with the pressure of like 400 people pushing up against it. This very quickly got really out of hand, especially when people started stealing shit from the actual store because of course, why else would they be breaking into a fucking auto zone? Damn. I ain't got say, really. <laughs> what can I say? I think the funniest thing about this entire video is this guy is on camera committing a fucking crime and he's deciding to steal drinks from the break room and microfiber rags. I think out of all the things that you could have stole from AutoZone, literally anything would have been better. If I was committing a crime and I was being recorded for it, I think I would steal more than the air fresheners. I would probably end up stealing, you know, some spark plugs, maybe some batteries that I can sell for $150, you know, something more valuable than the $1 vending machine drinks that they offer in the break room. The worst part about this entire video is the fact that you can hear the tires screeching from people doing donuts in the road throughout this entire video. So even if you don't read it from the news headlines of, oh, this was a takeover, or oh, this was the result of a takeover, or people from takeover overs came to steal from this auto zone like fucking degenerates. Even if you ignore all of those headlines, you can very clearly tell that this is from a takeover just from the tire screeching in the background of the video. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, the fact that there's people not covering their faces while they're actively committing a crime, or the fact that there's someone holding the door open like a valet at a hotel waiting to take your key. It's also crazy the fact that most of these kids look like they're in high school. I don't know why I'm saying it like I'm much older than them, like, oh, these fucking kids, they don't know how to act anymore. Not to be that guy, I get having fun and I get, you know, being destructive is the fucking coolest thing in the world right now. But this person legitimately looks like they're 14 years old and they're on camera not even covering their face and they are committing a crime. He is risking his entire future to steal some fucking black ice air fresheners. Now correct me if I'm wrong if any AutoZone workers are going to be in my comment section, but I'm pretty sure all of the really expensive stuff is probably gated off or it's not in the store. So even if you guys were planning on stealing something really expensive from AutoZone, which I think is just probably the batteries or the spark plugs, the risk to reward ratio is not great. You are putting actual prison time over a $150 battery. Not even. I think my car battery was close 
closer to like 100 or 120. Most of these people's cars and their car parts are more expensive than the things that they were stealing in this video. If you are seriously that down bad for money to the point where you need to join a mob in stealing from an auto zone, you gotta fix your priorities and stop going to fucking takeovers and pick up an extra night shift. You gotta be a different breed of degenerate to fucking steal from an auto zone. I get the occasional, oh, let me walk into Walmart, maybe steal some makeup, maybe steal a PS5, shove it up your ass and walk out the door type of thing. But dude, it is an auto zone. What are you looking to get? Some Pennzoil 5W30? The shit costs like fucking 12 bucks. And if you get the jumbo one, it's like 20. If you go to Jiffy Lube, they do your air fresheners too. You get both. You get your oil change and you get air fresheners. At this point, you don't even need to steal from the auto zone. You would be set. They thought it was going to be hot. Now that person had the right idea. I have no idea what the fuck he stole, but he went big and he's going home. His risk to reward ratio is way better than the fucking moron who is stealing microfiber rags. That thing looks expensive. That looks like some good turnover profit. I don't know what this guy's idea was. Take advantage of the chaos. Go big and go home. Steal the cash register. Steal the ATM. Fuck it. Commit a federal crime. Now all jokes aside, I'm really glad no one was injured. Obviously this happened after the auto zone closed which is amazing because if I was a 16 year old part-time worker and a group of 400 hoodlums walked into my store looking to steal I probably would have fucking left I wouldn't have even stopped them the gate was putting more effort into stopping them than I would have the only line of defense in that entire auto zone was the door and the gate and the door gave up during World War II there was only one mechanism of defense that the US had that was better than Germany and it was metal fencing but like all great things like your 90 year old grandmother and Rome, Italy, the fence unfortunately fell and now AutoZone is down maybe $10,000 because there is literally nothing expensive in that store that AutoZone can't just rebuy. If the workers really fucking cared, they probably could have just gone to the nearest O'Reilly or even Walmart Auto Center and just rebought everything that was stolen because once again, the only thing that's actually in AutoZone is like the batteries, maybe some spark plugs if you're lucky, a 16 year old worker who voice cracks every sentence, and black ice air fresheners. God damn it, this was so not worth it.